hi guys welcome back to the channel once again i hope everyone is doing good i just started this hair and uh, at a point i decided to show you what i am doing and how i'm doing it i'm just making my daughter's hair i have done something like this on the channel before but this is like another video that i want to also show you we have done this once already as you can see we have done almost more than half of the hair i'm just doing them line line by line block uh, shape and when you're doing block shape when you're dividing the hair don't make the next one you're going to do the, the next line you're going to do to be also on the same place you divide the other hair i don't know if you understand what i mean but with my demonstration you will know what i mean like here you see it did not enter here here too so don't make it exactly to be on the same line that will make your hair to look fuller and to look better and I've, I've gone ahead also to divide this one i try to do it this way i'll divide one line then i will do that one before i will do the next line by so doing it makes it easier for me that's how i do my own it makes it easier for me to be able to be fast in doing the hair because i don't like if i cut hair i do if i cut hair i do i make it line if I'm doing line by line dividing or pattern, I normally do it like this. But if I'm not doing it like the same line, I will also part the hair so that it will be easier for me. So, and the hair we are using here is this color is mixture of. I will I will put the name of the I can't remember the name of the color. I will put the name of the colors of the hair we are using on the description box or on the video. So that you know the colors we are using and actually i'm using a hair that i have used once they are still clean just something like this with i just use it once they are still okay so that is what we are using to make the hair sometimes you don't waste your hair especially when you know they are still clean maybe you did the hair you didn't carry the hair for a long time and you can still reuse the hair again as long as you know that you're still going to be keeping it clean you know putting those uh, sweet smells of conditioners and the uh, hair sprays and all that so that is what i have done so far then i will show you how i attach the hair so this is the next part i'm going to add and to see what i'm using this is country shea butter tea tree tea tree and jojoba oil that is hair and scalp oil this is what i'm using for her scalp by using this it will prevent itching it is very good for scalp on this hair i'm not using any gel to hold the hair before i attach the rubber band i'm just using this sometimes to her it will, her hair will start turning white i wouldn't want to use that so that's why i'm using only oil for her scalp and I'm not the pattern is not that big so definitely the with rubber band is going to stay longer I know some people prefer to use gel I apply it on the pattern and also inside the scalp of the the one I cut then after after applying the oil on the scalp I will just use a little bit of this oil and drop on the rubber band before I attach it try to do this it will help the hair not to cut after applying it I comb it then I will attach I attach the rubber band after combing then I will take the hair this is the hair I'm using it has been used once but they are still good so what you do is you twist the place you are going to attach on the root, twist it like this, then you place it here. You will use the natural hair as your third hair that you are going to use to braid, something like this. I have some videos on this channel which I have shown how to braid this hair I'm doing. I will link them in the description box. So what you do once again, i show you again, you place it here and you use the hair as the third hair you're going to use to braid and you start braiding this is very good if you don't know how to hold the root of the hair 
this is something any other person can do anybody can do this it's not difficult you just use your natural hair as the third hair you're going to use to braid so you start braiding You will continue to braid until when the natural hair is about to finish then you start adding some hair to it. Like this, it's about to finish, I will start adding hair to it by taking some hair from this one. I'm going to take hair from the both sides. So I'll start from taking hair from one of these and I'll add to that one and when I go to the other side I will also take some hair from the other one to add to it. When you do this, you now have a normal size to continue braiding. And while you're braiding, because the hair is about to finish and you have added a different hair to it, especially if you're using different colors like I'm doing here, you have to make sure that the natural hair is covered with the hair that you have attached to it. So, you try to make it cover the hair so that it doesn't show because when it's showing, it makes the hair not to last long. When you reach to the one that is the natural hair, make sure that the artificial hair or the station hair covers the natural hair before you continue. Breathing. So, that is what you continue to do until you make sure that the natural hair are all braided then you can continue to braid with the extension hair by so doing look at what is look at here the natural hair did not show because i tried to cover it with the extension hair it did not show here so you continue braiding the natural hair has finished already i'm braiding now with the extension hair your natural hair can show from the beginning but it doesn't make any it doesn't show anything bad it's just showing if you're using a different color it will just show two colors or more than two colors depending on the colors you're using but at least the hair is smooth so you continue braiding i will link some videos showing how you can attach hair different ways i have videos that shows different ways you can attach a station hair to your own natural hair and different videos that I did some braids I'm going to attach them on the description box I'll put a link there so in case if you want to know more on how to attach a station hair to your hair different ways I have videos on that one thing I want to also show on this video is to show you that you can still reuse your extension hair as long as they are neat, you do not use the hair for a long time, you can still reuse them and still have good and neat hair. So, and while I'm braiding, I always try to finish my braid, especially if I'm using the extension hair another time. Because if you don't finish it, they won't look good. So, you finish it and they will look more better when you braid to the end. Because if you did not braid to the end and you want to like leave it like that, it doesn't look good at all. You can only do that when you're using new one, new extension hair. But if you're reusing it again, try to braid to the end. It looks more better and more cleaner. So, this is it to the end. So I will continue to, I will braid and finish the hair, then I will show you the final look of the hair with your second, second hand extension hair. So I'm trying to show you once again, what you do is you roll it where you're going to attach, like I said, so that it will not be bulky, then you attach it, put it, and your natural hair becomes the third one, like I said before, then you start braiding. And while you're doing that, make sure that 
it covers the rubber band that you used to hold your natural hair then you braid until the natural hair is, is getting small then you can start adding hair to it see it's becoming small so i want to start adding now you don't you don't have to wait for it to finish before you start adding you have to start adding when it is reducing as you're braiding you will know when it is reducing because the quantity will start reducing then you start adding and you have to add from both of the two other portion of the hair that is the extension here so you continue braiding and while you're braiding try to let this extension hair cover the natural hair so that it will not be poking out because if it pokes if it's poking out it's going to make the hair to get old and you know it will not look good and if, and there's nothing else you can do after braiding this you have to carry it like that and it's not going to last it makes the hair not to last so while you're doing just like this if you braid it if i braid this like this now the natural hair is going to be showing so what you do is you try to use the station hair and try to make the natural hair go under the station the station hair then you can braid see you have covered that and it's not going to be showing that is what you have to be doing until you make sure that the natural hair is finished then you can normally braid with the three strands of station hair so that is what you have to be doing till you finish braiding the hair and see the hair it looks smooth some mousse to make it shine a little bit more and to make the flyaways lie down <laughs> 